Hey what's up guys my name is Anand and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be talking about Google Analytics for audiences. Now this is one of the you know great ways to utilize the website traffic and create audiences inside Google Analytics so that you can use that data and that audience in Google Ads for retargeting. So let me um, give you some practical examples of, of how you do that and why you need it. So first of all, in order to use Google Analytics 4, you need to get into configure and then click on the audiences tab over here. Now, as you can see, Google Analytics 4 has already created um, two default audiences. Uh, the first one is all users and the second one is purchasers. Uh, now, I'm not sure if the second one will be applicable for all the accounts, but um, you should definitely see um, the audience name all users. Basically, what it has done is uh, it's combining or putting everyone who is visiting your website into this all users bucket um, and, and it's going to be updated constantly. So it's dynamic. Now, in order to create a new audience, you basically need to click on new audience on the right hand side and then click on create a custom audience um, if you want to start from scratch. Now, there are a few suggested audience, uh, for example, recently active users, non-purchasers and purchasers. Um, these two options are great if you are having an e-commerce store. So let's say you have a store on Shopify and you have Google Analytics for integrated, then you can um, you know, build an audience using these two options and then retarget them using Google Ads or yeah, I think Google Ads would be the most um, you know, connected um, advertising platform, but there are a few ways to do it on Facebook as well. So what I'm saying is you can, uh, you can run ads on Google, drive traffic to your website and then build an audience on Facebook and retarget them on Facebook. So I'm not gonna get more into that, but if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. But anyways, this is about creating an audience. So you click on create a custom audience and this is where you will actually add conditions in order to define who gets into that particular audience. So um, the first option is include users when and then you have um, the condition. So basically what I will say is the, the, um, the event is or the page path plus query string um, contains and in this case I'm going to say um, whoever visits the about page on my website. Now typically that's not what you do but uh, let's say for example a good option will be create an audience about whoever visits the blog page. So anyone who visits or reads my blog I want them to be in this blog retargeting audience, right? So that's how I'm defining this particular audience. And then on the right hand side, you can specify the maximum duration. So I, I don't remember off the top of my head what's the maximum duration, but um, 30 days is okay. You can even go all the way up like 180 days. Um, and then you have like set to maximum limit, so that's fine as well. Okay, so that's that's good. And then once you do that, I guess you hit save and your audience is ready. Now, let me take another example over here. I'm gonna say create an audience. And then the pages, screen, path, and query string contains just my root domain, right? I'm going to put this, hit apply, and it's going to put all, everyone who has visited my website in the last 30 days, and it's going to create an audience over here. So this is good because let's say you want to start with the base audience of whoever visited your website, and then let's say you want to add more, what do you call, conditions to it, for example, and let's say the the, the time or the session number is so and so, or it can be something like 
um, the traffic source is coming from uh, a different uh, what do you call um, section so that's that's how you can choose like let's say if someone is coming from Google Ads or Facebook Ads then you can um, you can uh, maybe use that so those are some some options in terms of combining and adding more conditions but you get the point of how you can creatively use this um, option over here so the next thing is you know once you create these audiences what you can do is you can go back to your admin tab and then click on the the data streams And then let's see, I think it was data settings and data collection. Yes, this is where you need to go. And then you need to enable Google signals data collection because um, that is how Google will be able to, you know, measure and keep a track of your customers across multiple devices. So cross device capabilities and and all the good stuff in terms of building a solid remarketing audience. Hit continue and then hit activate. So my point is you need to enable Google data signal connection. Okay, so once you do this, then you get into Google ads linking. And right now my Google ad account has already been linked. So um, you need to do that in order to pass on this audience data into your Google Ads account. So that's the final step. So I guess that's pretty much it in terms of what do you call connecting your Google Analytics and Google Ads account. It's also um, about how do you uh, create this custom audience.